This is the weather video for Saturday, May 1st, 2021. Saturday will be a nice and warm day, but an unsettled pattern takes over that will bring rain and storms to the area at times through midweek. Here's what I have for you in today's video. Just a quick note, I am producing this video late on Friday night as I have had my second COVID-19 vaccine shot earlier in the day and I want to be sure that I can get this done before any side effects start kicking in. Saturday will be a day that will start off with plenty of sunshine throughout the daylight hours before clouds start moving in ahead of unsettled weather that will affect central Alabama through midweek. We'll stay dry and afternoon highs will reach the lower to mid 80s across the area. A surface low will develop off to our west-southwest on Sunday that will move in our general direction throughout the day. Showers and storms will move into the western parts of the area by mid-afternoon, dissipating a little during the late night hours and keeping a decent chance of showers and a few rumbles of thunder during the overnight hours. There is the potential for a few stronger to severe storms on the western parts of the area, mainly west of a line from Addison to Brookwood to Safford. Isolated damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour and quarter size hail will be possible. For now, the main window for stronger storms will be from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Afternoon highs on Sunday will be in the upper 70s to the mid 80s. Another surface low will form off to our southwest on Monday that will continue to send moisture rich air into our direction. Our atmosphere will continue to be unstable, especially in the heating of the day. Therefore, rain and storms will be likely with the potential of a few of those to become strong to severe. We'll get a better look at this setup once we get close enough for the higher resolution models to come into view. Highs will be in the lower to mid 80s. A cold front will be approaching central Alabama on Tuesday and will slowly move into the northwestern parts of the area by sunset. Out ahead of the front, the atmosphere will become unstable once again, so stronger to severe storms may be possible, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. Highs will range from the lower 80s in the northwest to around 90 degrees in the southeast. By the morning rush hour on Wednesday, the cold front will have made it past the I-59 corridor and will continue on its slow trek through the remainder of central Alabama. Some instability will form ahead of the front, but numbers are not all that impressive at this point. While a strong storm is not out of the question, this may just end up being your normal showers and thunderstorms along and ahead of the front, while drier air will be moving in behind the front. Highs will be in the mid-70s to the lower 80s across the area. A trough will begin sweeping through the northern parts of the area on Thursday that will bring some clouds and maybe squeeze out a few sprinkles, but I believe we'll stay dry at this point. Highs will be in the lower 70s to the lower 80s. We'll be on the backside of the trough on Friday with all the rain activity pushing out over the Atlantic Ocean. We do see some moisture stretching back over portions of the southeast and just into the extreme northern parts of, of the state, but central Alabama will stay dry with mainly sunny skies. Highs will be in the lower to mid 80s. Rainfall amounts through the seven day forecast period show the potential of two to three inches for much of the area, with most of that occurring from late Tuesday through Wednesday night. I would not be surprised if we see some localized flash flooding issues at some point during that window. The latest temperature outlook from the National Blend of Models shows highs in the 80s through Tuesday before the cold front moves in. Highs retreat into the 70s until we get to Monday, May 10th, when highs get back into the 80s. That will do it for today's video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today, and remember, each day is a gift. Have a great day, and God bless.